Hi, Hannah here. Uh, someone on the Nextdoor app contacted me about a free end table. And so here we are. I just decided to go and get it. He said it was solid wood. And I was going to refinish it for my daughter, but she looked at the style and was like, no thanks. So I decided I'm going to finish it to my liking and just try to sell it. I know it's only one end table or nightstand, and so it's not as fun or interesting as two of them. But I swear, when I post one end table, they want to, when I post two end tables, they want to break my set and buy one. So, can't win. I knew when I saw this thing, it was solid wood. And all I had to do was just basically hope that the wood that it was was a good enough grain where I can show some of it off. Sometimes the wood is just too beat up and too messed up so you can't really show it off. But um, I did like how the wood looked. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And maybe you can subscribe to get to see more of my posts. I usually don't really have things planned. I just like, if I get a hand, a hold of something, I refinish it and I post it, you know. I post random things. I try to post weekly. And the bottom shelf, I did manage to get some of it cleaned up, but then I decided to move it inside. It was just too hot outside and I didn't have all of my things. So I wanted to have space to glue this drawer together, which I didn't show you all of it because it was just a mess. So, and my hand was in the way. So I just decided to cut some of that off. I decided to move it to a better position and so I was able to place it on really tight and sit it aside and then I went back to doing the shelf so I could let the drawer dry and I essentially was just trying to get whatever I could get off with the hand sander and then um, I will just sand by hand you know after I've done all I could with the orbital one I thought it'd be nice to have some raw wood on the, one of the shelves and just kind of clean up little stains, different things that I saw in the drawer, even though they won't really see it, but if they pull the drawer all the way out, you're going to see it. So I just want to clean up whatever I can. And besides, I decided to just give it a scuff sand with the orbital sander. I know that it's nice wood, so it's could have been solid, could have been stained, but I decided I wanted to paint that side, so. And I will tell you the truth, these nightstands and tables, especially when you sell it by one, it really does not make a lot of money. And when I post my things on here, it's to sell. It's not just to make some design that's unique and different. I'm trying to actually flip these pieces. So I need to think about my time, my money, and what kind of profit I can get from these. And so because it's a nightstand, it would be worth it, worth it for me to just scuff sand some, paint some, and then flip it.
And I've used this paint before. It's from the Sherwin Williams Peppercorn color. I've used it on the gray high chairs and I think another project, but just doesn't come to mind at the moment. But you don't really need that much. I literally, that's all I use. Whatever you see that I pour out, that's all I use to do this entire piece.
when the wood is less than perfect, sometimes designs are very helpful. So no blocking today, but I'm doing my old standby mandala. Closer to the edge. Make sure this design doesn't get painted on. Just a tiny little bit. If you can, shaking the stuff up, tack spray. Kind of keep it from moving around. I forgot how to use this thing. You're supposed to put it underneath. Then you put it there. It's been a while. I used it wrong last time. This tape from Amazon really sucks. It's every week. Every week painter's tape.
The drawer lining was done off camera. And um, this is the finished product. I put a new handle on, also a new knob. And I took it outside to try to get some sunlight. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. I'm still working on my staging. So tell me what you think.